most people in life expect that when they're traveling that people will not be touching them when they're sleeping. This morning I am looking through my property bags to put on a clean shirt or as clean as it is for me and I am finding that my clothing has been ripped, completely ripped up the sides. I'd like to know who got into my bags, rearranged my things, put things where they didn't belong, and literally ripped my clothing. You see, these are the premises of a hate crime. And a hate crime is that sort of thing, where someone cuts a person's beard in the night, steals their clothing, I'm missing a Zija shirt that should be mine, and a blue shirt that should a polo shirt should also be mine. I'm also missing a black polo shirt. Why is that? I did not give those things away. In life, we have a moment of time to decide what clothing we're going to wear. And a man of my age of now 53 does not need some little bastard Indian boy playing a game on his life with his Chinese friends. Hong Kongers do shit like this. Koreans do shit like this. Isn't it interesting that the Chinese shirt has not been fully ripped, but my Japanese clothing and my Harley clothing, which are one of a kind, unable to be replaced, fully silk clothing, have been ripped. I'd like to kill that police officer in the jail who ripped my first shirt, but I had his name, but someone ripped the pages out of my Koran. I don't know who these people think they are in America, but by far, when they die, they will be going in the afterlife, not to Valhalla. They will be going to hell with Hades.